How to design data layer in our apps as per clean architecture? As we know, clean architecture is the most powerful solution to build scalable apps which are easy to maintain. And in this architecture, basically we have three layers as domain layer, presentation layer and data layer. So in this video, we will create the data layer and we will know how it's important to have the separate data layer in our apps. In our architecture, data layer is where our raw data coming from remote or local data sources and it will be mapped into models using JSON serialization methods. Models in this layer are different from the entities of domain layer and the reason why we have this method is because in some cases if we want to change the raw data serialization from JSON to XML, these changes will not affect the domain entities. Now let's jump into its implementation. First of all, create data folder inside SRC directory and three folders named models, repositories and data sources inside data folder. Next, create the coach model file inside model directory and create the coach model class which extends from coach entity. Inside this class, first we create the constructors and we pass the properties to its constructors which we are getting from its super class coach entity. Here, we don't have an extra mapper class. We are just going to leverage the named constructors from JSON and to JSON. Next, under the data sources folder, let's create the local and remote folder. In our case, we are getting the data from remote server. So let's create the remote data source file under remote folder. First, create the abstract class API remote data source with contract written inside it to get the movie code as code model. Now let's implement the abstract class. Here we are using the HTTP client to call the API. So when the response is good, we will return the code model, else we will throw the server exception. Now let's implement the abstract class API repository, which is already created inside the domain folder. To check the domain layer implementation video, you can check the link in the description. Now inside data folder under repositories, create the API repository file. Next, create the implementation class, which implements the API repository. Now implement the get random movie code contract, which either return failure or code entity. Now create the final variable random code and use the get random movie code future method of API remote data source class, which will return the random code as code entity. Also make sure to return the failure in case of server exception. With this, we have completed the implementation of data layer and we can use this data layer and domain layer inside the presentation layer. Mm -hmm. 